Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me? I can. All right. So you're coming back to Australia in uh, April. You're going to be uh, playing new shows, uh, supporting the uh, brand new album, um, The Blood of the Gods. Are you looking forward to coming back and kicking some ass down under? Yeah, except for the flight. Yeah. Do you have your I'm own flight, private jet that. yet, or do people, you know, get freaked out by the costumes on the plane? Well, we have a bat-shaped, uh, bat-shaped helicopter, but uh, it's in the shop, so I think we're going to have to fly domestic. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. It is hard to find a seat that fit that fits though. Mm. I usually have about two seats. Last time you were in Australia, you actually uh, caused quite a bit of controversy when you killed our Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. Uh, we have a new Prime Minister now, Malcolm Turnbull. Do you think uh, you'll spare him this tour, or do you think you may have to kill him too? I don't know. Does he eat onions like apples? <laughs> no, not this one. Not that one? No. no. Yeah, we'll probably kill him too. You know. Yeah. I, I had more fun. I had more fun killing the queen. Oh, did you get? Was that uh? Yeah. You know, did the news report on that one as well, or was that as controversial as the Tony Abbott thing? Oh, I, I, all the old old ladies got really upset about it. I bet. And uh, you got a new it's album. The very black. disrespectful. <laughs> Yeah, How dare yeah. they come to our country? <laughs> hey, we did. Uh, always We're controversy doing it again. with Gore. Yeah, I listened to your new album, The Blood of the Gods, and, you know, being a big fan for, you know, 15 years, it was actually my business studies teacher that got me into Gore in our high school, and I've been a fan ever since. But uh, your new album, The Blood of the God, it kicks ass. Uh, firstly, what was it like not having uh, odorous around, and do you think you'd be proud of this album? Well, it was it was considerably less smelly. <laughs> yeah, he's a very smelly fellow. Uh, you know, we definitely miss him a great deal. We were trying to do him proud on this album, you know, and I think we I think we succeeded with that. Mm. Do you think he wanted well, I mean, uh, you guys to carry on I'm, without him? I'm proud of it. I think he would be. Yeah, he said it a million times. I think I think he would have. Mm-hmm. Why should we stop having fun? Yeah, for sure. There's, uh, you know, plenty more scum dogs to be killed. Right. He loved the party. Why not? Why not keep the party going? For sure. Um, what other big uh, plans and tours have you got this year? And I noticed with the Adelaide show, it's uh, a little bit different from the other shows. It's called the Battle of Adelaide. Can you tell us what will be different from, you know, the Adelaide shows compared to the other capitals? Um, your guess is as good as mine. It's probably the promoter thought it, it was catchy because it rhymed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. I thought they might have got some, you know. As far as I know, I mean, maybe maybe we'll have a battle. Maybe we'll have mm. a vat of uh, a vat of Cheetos, and we 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 have to eat our way out of them. I don't know. Do you ever get problems with you know customs? You know, trying to bring in all your Props and paraphernalia. Does that ever occur? You know those kind of things. Well, yeah, they. I tried. I tried to smuggle in a dead rhinoceros last time, and <laughs> they caught me. It it started to it started to decompose, and uh, they smelled it. Mm. But the dog the dogs had a good meal that day. Yeah. Just wondering. Besides uh, gore, obviously, do you have any other? masked bands that you really like? Is there any other bands that you think do it almost as good as Gore? No. None of them. <laughs> Not even Mushroom Head or Slipknot? No. <laughs> Not any of them. Fair enough. No one compares to us. Wow. So was there any musicians that... Uh, the original, you know, baby. The original. They're all copycats. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree with that 100%. Especially Lordy, they're the worst of the worst. <laughs> mm. um, what uh, 
you know, musicians got you into, you know, wanting to, you know, conquer the world and play heavy metal? Well, you know, I, I invented music. Not, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, uh, back in back in the day of the dinosaurs, you know, I, I, we would we were banished here to Earth, and and uh, you know, we'd have to fight dinosaurs and kill them and eat them, and and you know, I got bored uh, one day after I had uh, ripped a, a brontosaurus apart with my bare hands, and I took his his uh, guts and strung them across the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and when I plucked them, they made a pleasant sound. <laughs> that was the uh, first musical note. Uh, so my influences really are, are myself. I, 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 you know, I invented music, so you really can't, you really can't influence me. Plus, mm. we created humans, so. Sure. When you look back at all the, you know, albums you've put out as Gwar, do you have like a top three favorites and, you know, maybe a top three, you know, least favorites? Um, not really. Uh, I guess whatever, whatever we just put out was always my favorite. Um, or whichever one makes the most money. For sure. Will you be playing all the classics as well? On the tour, you know, Sadama Go Go and Meat Sandwich and you know those kind of songs. Oh, we'll see. I'll probably just throw we'll probably just throw darts at, at a board and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> that, could, that could be a good show. Yeah, we'll probably throw darts at the audience. <laughs> awesome. Are you going to be touring around the world as well this year? You got any other countries lined up? Oh, I don't know what that's that's somebody else's job. I have to I just go where they tell me to go. Wow. Hey, I'll definitely be at the show, man. I'll be uh coming to the Brisbane show, I'll be taking photos, so I really look forward to it. Uh hopefully uh you guys, you know, don't throw a hammer or something at me when I'm in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we might, but uh, we we usually try to get those things back. So if it misses you, we'll, we'll yeah we'll, we'll retrieve it. Awesome, man. Well, I, I can't wait to come to the show. It's going to be uh, actually my first time seeing Gwar. I have so, to go uh, there and, and hold another uh, hold another koala. I, last time I was there, I I got to hold your syphilitic koala in my bare hands. Yeah, well, you what got, do they have? Is it syphilis or is it chlamydia? It's, it's uh, chlamydia. chlamydia. Oh, did, uh, and they then catch, they take the, they the chlamydia. <laughs> they they take the chlamydia ridden a koala and stick its bare ass in your the palm of your hand and 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 take your picture. Mm. It's a souvenir. You get to bring chlamydia so that's, home. That's right. <laughs> The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, for sure. You should definitely bring a couple back to America with you too, because they're pretty cute. And now, uh, I'm sure the customs there won't. I mind. want one of those. Uh, what are the, what are the what are those wombats? I want one of those. Yeah, the wombats. They're cool. way cuter. Yeah, they'd be like a little dog known. The last time I was, I saw one the last time I was there, but it just laid in a hole and wouldn't move. Yeah. Maybe it was dead. I was disappointed. Yeah. I did see a kookaburra beat the shit out of a dead mouse, so that was fun. Oh, yeah. I was watching some uh, ducks cross the road the other day, and a kookaburra came down and ate one of the little ducks in front of me. It was pretty brutal. I want to hang out with one of those uh, cassowaries. They seem like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're cool. Nice yeah. birds, those ones. We could go out on the town. So yeah, I want to take one out. I want to take one out downtown and get it drunk and see what happens. Mm. Can I come get drunk with Gwar, or is it uh, you know VIP only? You can come get drunk with the cassowary. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll settle for that. <laughs> we'll hang out all night. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, Beefcake, thanks heaps for doing the interview, and I can't wait to come to the concert in uh, April. Awesome. I'll see you there, man.
Uh, see you. Bye.